Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you all back to the Library of Runia, where today we will be taking on the Reverse Library of Netzach. Now, the Reverse Library of Netzach, as we saw before, is completely about offense, offense, and more offense. Even more so considering their floor passive is reduce defense die, increase offense die. Which is kind of the counter, the absolute opposite to normal Netzach, which is all about endurance and lasting. So they kind of had to go full off, full overpowered on the offense to try and just counteract our defensiveness of normal Netzach. So, I decided, let's beat them at their own game. I've gone full offense as well. I've gone back to Netzach's roots. And what are those roots, you may ask? Well, back when ranged weapons were first introduced, the full stop office, Netzach began to really shine because he was all about the piercing damage, dealing all the bonus piercing, and that's what the full stop all and bullets all were. So that's what we're doing today. We are using the Amplified Full Stop Office. So we've got Amplified Luwe, Amplified Tamaki, Amplified Steven. That's right, we've gone full bullet barrage with Netzach today. So hopefully, we're going to out-offense them at their own game. And the best part about this? We're fully designed around dealing one-sided attacks. They're not. And also, I did kind of, you know, put Puffy Broom on it the room on everyone because of how smoke orientated these guys are as well. So let's go. Let's see if they can handle bullets. You might outsmart me, but let's see if you can outsmart bullet. Now with that I think about it, which of these people should I be focusing on first? What's your ego page? Porcubus. Okay. What? Who are you? Fragment of the universe. I do not want to fight Porcubus. Now here's the key thing about what I'm doing. There is a very particular page we have here. Ballistic Barrage. What it does is if it hits someone, we get to reuse it on a different person. I have this equipped to basically everyone. Let's see how much they can face the barrage. Eat! Bullet! How much bullet can you take? Apparently a decent amount of bullet. You'll you'll fall ill if you hold in your what's this? Conversion laughing powder. When hit, take bonus three to five stagger damage. Oh. Okay. Well, the thing is, most of these guys don't even have counter dice as well, which is heavily on our in our favor. All right. So if they want to go full offense. Let's see how our full offense goes. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. If you want to make it so you take bonus stagger damage, I'm all for it. How do you get so much? Is right, eat the stagger dice. You want to go full offense? We can go full offense. In fact, one of you is already dead. Now we're going to take laughing powder to counteract your laughing powder. So, what have you got? Conversion, thorns. On a successful pierce attack, inflict one thrill. 
to the target. Thrill. At the end of the scene, remove all stacks. At, remove all stacks at a stack times 10% chance. At the time, take stack times 2 damage. Okay. Elation. All dice gain 3 power. At the end of the scene, this, this character is staggered. Yes, he is. Tentacles. On a successful pierce attack, your bonus stagger damage equal to 10% of the character's stagger resist. <laughs> Alright then. Let's see how these losers do against bullets! Boom! That's one gone. Another one staggered. Another one staggered. I'm sorry, is that all three of them staggered? No, not quite. Oh, wait! Yes, it is! Right. Well. We out offensed team offense. Ned Zack, I feel this is your just reward, so. Go murder. Get the final kill. I think I went a little too hard on this. This one took 15 minutes. Well. Now I need to find something else to do for the episode. But thankfully, there's plenty for us to do. But here we have the assistant librarians and the... What am I call it page? The abnormality page. Shit, I... They are, it's so the abnormality pages are so much fun, but it's just a shame we can't use them properly. So before I move on to other stuff, let's take a look at what the natural sciences are all about, shall we? You look like you've gone yandere. What is this? Don't look at me. All allies gain ability. If the sum of clashing or taking one slated attack is four times or more in one scene, emotion level rises by one. Huh? So are you just gonna re rank up in emotion really, really fast? Let's see. Toughness. Okay. Haboob. Alright. Remain vigilant. Ew. Health aura. Really? Natural floor. Conversion sciences. Once per scene. Can use special page. Cost one. On play. Gain two optional emotion point. Huh. That's an interesting one. So what are you all about? Blood fiendish, mind hauler, health hauler, further reindeer treatment. Okay, so all about endurance. All right. Then we got you. You're kind of just offense. Then we got Agrilla, Ag Agria. So screw you. Who is basically extreme offense with enough defense. And then what about you? Again, more defense. All right then, so you're all about tenacity, basically. Is the nat is Tibereth's floor. Interesting. Well, let's go do some of the workshop things I've had waiting in the in the works for ages, such as the Winston office. The Winston office was a was one that was I installed on the workshop last week. And I felt bad for not playing it last week, but HOD basically gave me a run for my money. It's kind of why I wanted to go so full hard on, on Netzack this week, and I feel kind of guilty about how hard on Netzack I actually went this week. But the rules are the rules, so basically I'm not allowed to use this gimmick for any other, on any other thing anyway. It mostly only worked against Netzack, reverse Netzack, because they had nicks to know what I'm gonna call it counter dice anyway so yeah so let's see what the winston office was all about shall we aleph oh i love the name already hello Win winston i was told that you'd be here well the huge glowing sign was god damn it where's the light switch in this place ah there it is Ah, oh, please, don't hurt me. I swear I wasn't trying to give you false information. Calm down, buddy. I ain't here to hurt you. But the note did tell me to kick serious amount of ass. You must be one of Isabel's collectors. 
Aren't you? Yeah. I was given the note and instruction on where and how to get here by her. Please don't hurt me. The office was dying. I had to do su I had to do anything I could to keep things afloat. <sighs> Look, buddy. I get you. Down in the dumps, stricken with poverty, and so much skill to your name, yet you can never land a job. Maybe that military job wasn't as good as they say, you know? Um, I'm afraid I don't. Hey, what's going on? What's with all the commotion around here? You two are the only ones left clinging to this pl onto this place? Well, yeah. Everyone everyone left, so this place is pretty echoey. <laughs> all right. I I ain't a man for charity, but seeing this just makes we just makes me well up inside. Here, take this. If you can beat that trial and get whatever the book Whatever the books that are on it there, I'll look the other way. I'll look the other way on the debt, and you'll get your money to get this place back on your feet. I'm not usually a charitable man, but I'll leave you three at it. I'm heading back home. This is a trap. There's no way we're, we're there's no way we're getting out uh, out of this alive. Well, we have to do something something, or else we'll end up as sidewalk meat sooner or later. Tower is right, Erwin. We need the money, and, well, the Bloom Flames have, has enough men, even if we try to fight. Not to mention their singularity. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but this is crazy. The library has taken so many people. Have you ever heard what happened to the Loom? We'll never stand a chance. Come now, Erwin. We have to do this, right, Toa? I was thinking of... Um, I was thinking of... I was thinking more of escaping to the outskirts and live there. You both are crazy. Come now, sign your names. No time to waste. Huh. <sighs> Poverty can lead people to do rec many reckless things. Look at the rats, for example. It's always a race to the top, no matter what way you swing it. Getting higher on the ranks, getting the best house in the nest, or getting the right house, even. For a dying office, these se the these guys seem attached to keep the their to keep their place afloat. Usually they just abandon ship. By your tone of voice, I'm going to assume that you also did the same? That's a story for another time, maybe. You know, I never thought I'd see the inside of this place. It gives me the creeps. Come now, Toa. We have dealt with Star of the Cities before. Bu before business started to top. Just started to stop. That was different. This is a whole new caliber of Star of the City. Tora is white. We're, we are doomed. <coughs> Greetings, dear guest. I am Angela, director and librarians of my director of the libra of the li of the library's namesake. Greetings, Miss Angela. I am Winston, and this is. Oh, screw it with the introductions. We're dead anyway, so who cares if anyone knows our names? Owen, and that is. Toa Al Alinagini. Owen's right. We are so dead. So I'm going all out. Shut it, you two. We are here to. We are here due to some unfortunate incidences, uh, incidences, and we need the money from those books you were offering. How peculiar. Most others that came s said that they would jump ship. What makes it so that the dying office had so much significance to you? Well, we founded the place. It holds sig a significant bond that we all three. That all three of us share. Me, Erwin, and Toa have worked there since day one. Though I do miss the days when the office was more bustling and hustling and bustling. Hmm. You share an emotional bond with each other as well as a materialistic object such as that as that place. It was the only home I had. Same as same with Erwin. Winston took us in, and well, you live here, don't you? See, this is your home. This place is not a home to me, nor do I feel the same way you, as you do. This is more of a prison, but that's enough of that. May you find your book in this place. Toa, I think you hurt, hit a nerve back there. I did? Oh. Hey, it's me, Aleph. Did, Aleph, did you do it? Did he put up a fight? Do you need repairs? No. I saw the sorry state of the office. I gave them the invitation and told them to do whatever. At this point, I think they're already in the library. I thought you'd be cooler than that. 
Ah, well. By the way, Corvez to told us we'd be mi we'll have a meeting soon, so get back as soon as you can. No stopping for sodas today, okay? Okay. Uh, also, I'll need a top off. Top off. My cybernetics don't have the same kick as they used to lately. Interesting. Okay. So what have we got here? Winston. Speed 2. Okay, you're already at a good start. Shield Shredder. On hit, remove one stack of protection from the target, if there is any. Ugh. I'm very glad I'm not using the pinky. <laughs> Insult and Fracture. If the target has five or more stacks of Fragile, on hit, deal ten bonus stagger damage once per scene. Ooh, okay. Giggling Minister. If target has Fragile, on hit, inflict two stacks of Fragile, make scene at 30% chance. One, once per target per scene. Marrow Toucher. If the target has Fragile, on hit, inflict three bleed next scene. Once per scene. And then, bonus slash dice. Alright, speed three. Unrelenting. Alright, Giggling Master. Marrow Toucher. So you guys are all about Fragile. Ha! Huh. In addition, you're actually really tough. What have we got then? Preseco Cut. On use, restore light. On hit. If the target has fragile, recover one light. Stuck in bone. On hit. Draw a page. Bone breaking counter. On hit. Inflict two fragile. Next scene with the counter dice. Rib cracker. On hit. Inflict two fragile. Next scene. Marrow lust. On hit. If target has fragile, recover five HP and stagger resist. Lovely bone marrow. I. What is it with you and bone marrow? On hit, inflict one fragile next scene. Elegy of Bones. On use, recover two light and draw a page. On hit, inflict three fragile. Painful Intrusion. On Clash Lose, add six power to the next die. On, on hit, inflict five fragile next scene. Ha! Huh. Pent up takedown. On use, draw a page. On hit, inflict five fragile next scene. On hit, inflict two feeble next scene. So how different are the attacks? You don't have the Elegy, you have the Pent Up, but you also have this. Hidden Killer. On use, gain one haste next scene. This die is rolled three times. On hit, on hit apply Fracture to the, to the enemy target next scene. Okay. And you got this. Skull Basher. And restore one light. On hit, if the target has Fracture, deal two extra damage and apply two stacks of Fragile next scene. Dive kick. On hit. Apply fracture to the to the enemy next scene. 15 to 35 damage. Jesus Christ. And they're basically completely resistant to slashing and have no resistance to anything else. Interesting. How do I want to do this then? Which team should I use for this? I could go for team a thousand attacks, but there's not really much benefit to them. We could go with Burn Them Alive, we have a billion, a billion bullets, and we've got ravens that somehow don't work. You know what? Screw it! We've gone with Netzak once today, let's just see how overpowered Netzak actually is with this gun build that I've got. Plus, they've got a speed 3, I'm allowed a speed 3. I love this, it's Strike Force versus Strike Force. I knew we shouldn't have accepted that. It's all part of life, I think. We're not surviving. I mean, you say you're not surviving, but you somehow have got a stupid... You're stupidly powerful either way, so... Alright, let's see what attacks you've got. Lovely bone marrow, okay. Oh, you're doing dive kick immediately. Well, fuck you. Let us just see how much initial bullet they can handle. Go. Bang. 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 Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Staggered already. I feel what makes this stupid is this barrage. This multi target barrage is what really makes this powerful. All right, let's see how this goes then. Come on, Team Bullet!
I'm sorry, did that guy just get an attack off before bullets went by? What the heck is with that? Laughing powder, let's go. Alright. You've got a counter dice this time. Which is admittedly very annoying. Alright, team gun, let's continue on with the gun. Good gun. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, dead. Bang. Well done, you lived. Well, I say you lived. Lived is a matter of perspective. Okay. Well, you're dead, so we can just full on lay into this guy. With a billion bullets. Right. Let's go! You might wonder how that guy just died then, but the Amplified Steven has the ability called Ricochet, which says every time they hit someone, deal one to two damage to another person. Yeah! Team Gun has a lot of damage, apparently. So, well, that's a thing. What's going on here? Corvairs. Ah, oh, sorry about that, Corvairs. Looks like I got bit a, a bit carried away there. <laughs> Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> What <gasps> gave that away? Never mind that, but you seem pretty weak. Was my resurrection that heavy? Not sure, but whatever is happening, my energy is running out. I don't think I can manage another one anytime soon. And the prayers are not working as they should be. So what's our course of action now? Go to the meeting room with the other executives and members. We have a couple of things to discuss. In the meanwhile, I'll inform the rest of the office of the temporary shutdown of the Singularity. Interesting. That was a bit of a story reveal there. Ha. Huh. Well then. What the hell are these two? Oh, this is the magic workshop. Huh. The Magic Workshop. Interesting. What's the one after it? Reception of the Annihilative Dragon. Annihilative Dragon. Huh. I, th I get the feeling this also has to deal with the magic thing that, I ins that I've got here. I'm very tempted to try that. There's so many for me to just try that I haven't done. Such as the Amplified Pierre. There's just so many Amplified things I have available for me to work with. It's why I'm not bothered. It's not why I'm not worried about running out of pages for the, the reverse library. Just because I've got so... There's so many people who have just taken old ones people loved and just amped them up to... What am I call it? Star of the city level, because it's interesting. But let's go for this magic workshop next, just to see what it's about. I mean, obviously the the what am I call it? This is in Korean, so I have no idea what this is all saying or doing or talking about or whatnot. But we can at least. Take a mild look at the characters. I mean, it does look kind of fun. One day I hope to be able to read Korean, but I also know that day will likely never ever come. 
So what do we have for these work, this magic workshop then? Price of mana slash conversion. Max light capacity sets one and lose all light at the start of the scene. Old pages cost become zero and set it mana cost, vanilla cost times three on using a page. If having mana lower than set it cost, destroy all of the dice's page. Okay. At the start of the scene, gain 12 mana. Max mana capacity... 25. Unstable spell. At the start of act, gain a, gain a spell effect randomly. Interesting. Mana system B. Mana system L. Gain 10 mana and max capacity of 30. So more max, lower, lower regen. And then Q. At the start, gain 15. Max mana capacity 20. Interesting. Okay. So what's this? Soul Siphon. Mana cost 5. On hit, gain mana equal to the to the damage dealt. Hmm. On Clash win, reduce power of opponent's next die by 2. Reduce the power of the target's defensive die by 2. Resonance Centralization. Mana cost 5. Mana link. I don't know what the mana link means. Combat start. For this scene, all other allies using a mana link page gain the ability on use. All dice on this page gain plus one power. Oh, okay. Resonance. Amplification. For all for this scene, all other allies using a mana link page gain ability on use. Gain four mana. Hmm. Mana link. Again, I like this already. This is what, it, very cool. On use, draw one page. Retrogression, mana cost five, recover HP and stagger resist. Discord, draw a page. Shadow, boost Nick's dies max value by plus two. On hit. Divine Strike, mana cost ten. Deal a bunch of dice. All right, well, ah, huh. I'm not sure how I should feel about this just because these numbers are honestly small. Like this isn't even me calling them small because of the modded pages I'm used to. No, even if we take a look at Roland, his pages are just really big in comparison. Actually, maybe the better comparison would be you know, zap this floor because they're the ones using regular pages. These pages just don't seem to, like, seemingly cut it for a... what am I call it? For a star of the work... for a star of the city. And I'm not even sure if they're meant to be a star. I'm just gonna quake a take a quick look at the mod for the, stre the strength. We're allowed two floors. So... I feel I'm gonna try it with Yisod's floor. Just because I feel I need to see it play Yisod more. I mean, I need to play all of them more. We've already discovered this is actually ridiculously stupid. So I don't think I should do that again. So let's try this with Yisod's floor. I'm allowed two floors. We got, we've got space to work with. Now this ought to be really interesting because you are really just, you know, messing with the usual stuff. So let's see, what's targeting what? Now I get to test something because I have this particular mod allowing me to choose which one of these I target. Oh my god, this is so much nicer. Oh, I love that. That is the best mod edition anyone could have ever come up with. Mostly because the entire community's been asking for it for ages. Alright, team. I'm a billion attacks. Let's see how you do. You know, I never actually looked at your resistances. Probably because I just didn't care. Because your numbers aren't really big enough to 
Stop me. This is just going to be a tenacious thing about just getting them down, isn't it? Hmm. I can imagine it is. Resonance, 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 resonance. Okay, so you have just got decided you're just going full what I'm call it, haven't you? Okay, let's go. Bang. Ow. Good hit. I enjoyed your shatter the precipice. Apparently those are hitting very hard because they've apparently got a big power boost, which I probably haven't taken into account for. Does the request work? Yeah, the request works against all things. Okay. I kind of am wanting to wait with certain attacks. Just so that I can get the mark on them for the extra books. So, let's just go with this. Requested target, and you have to kill them to get the to get the extra books, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Dead. Boom, dead. All right, so I just resolved an awful lot of books from that. What do we get next, though? Iris and Leo. Hmm. Okay. Well, you certainly look like the, the so-called dragon on the next place. So I assume that's what's going to happen. So because you're named characters, you're clearly special. So how are you special? Mana system, Iris. At the start of the scene, gain 15 mana. Mana capacity, 30. Okay. Imaginary world. Gain four special combat pages that spend mana and support an ally. Only one of the Dreaming Pages can be played per scene, and once a Dreaming Page is used, it cannot be reused until all four have been utilized. So it's kind of like combining uh, Jan's page as well as the four Triangrams. Interesting. What about you? Mana System, Helio. At the start of scene, gain 20 mana, ma max mana capacity 25. Brilliant Dragon. When using a combat page with an effect involving mana, all die on the page gain plus one power. If the, ma if the character has 21 or more mana at the start of the scene, all die gain plus one mana. Huh. Okay. That actually means on average you're going to get plus two power a lot of the time. Alright, so what special things do you have? Imaginary world. Mass attack, single use. If having lower 10 mana... If having lower 10 mana or, lo or emotion level is 2 or lower, cannot use this page. On use, ends the scene. Spend all mana making imaginary world for mana spent times divided by 5 scenes. In imaginary world, this character can't act, but all allies are enhanced. Ha! Advanced circuit. Combat start. Boost the ma minimum maximum roll value of all die by one, by plus one this scene. Okay. 
Fang of, purga of Purgatory. Recite. Recite. After using, cannot use for X scenes. Fair. If all offensive die on this page, hit. Spend four mana and use this page again on a random enemy. Oh, I like the sound of that. I wonder if that needs mana again, though, to be able to use it again. Hmm. What about you? Brilliant Dragon. Can only be used at emotion level 3 or higher. If having lower than 10 mana, this page, ca this page can't give damage. On use, spend all mana. Deal more damage equal to mana spent times 3. Oh, you're going to be nasty. Alright then. Let's do this. I have no idea how this enhancement is going to work is kind of the thing. So, you. You're going to be in charge of... Wow. Just attacking this guy. And you didn't get any speed this turn. Alright, let's see how this ends up going then. Ow. Ow. Do you have to roll like the three every time? Why do I try? God, I love the poke poke. And the counter dice. Okay. Chained Wrath. Tempting. But I'll definitely take clean on the person who commonly has a ton of power. I mean, look at this. It's 11. Okay, let's see how this goes then. Bang, 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 and you're gone. Yeah, I really underestimate the power these guys have with their amplifications. Okay. Eternal rest. I kind of want to see your mass attack, if you don't mind, lady. Not gonna lie. Right, again, just using this, the request to get more pages. And we're doing it via eternal rest as well. Because you got the lowest, then you'll have the lowest, and then you'll have the lowest. Dead. 52 damage. Dead. And then you just simply get poke poked. And then prone. Man, I feel like ending my turn just so I can see this imaginary world, but at this point, it won't do anything. So, just kill her. Well, 
the workshop, the magic workshop is done. I suppose I should actually just go straight into the big boss character, shouldn't I? Wow, look at all those books I resolved. Apparently request is really good. And then you're doing a thing. You crack. Man, what I wouldn't love to see to do, to see the end of this, because one, because who was it? It was, I don't think it was you. I think it was you who just basically started distorting. I would love to see that. So let's see what this mana system actually looks like, whether it's got all the same stuff again. It looks like it does. All right then. Well, then I suppose the next question is before we go fight that boss, what did all what did your buffs actually do? Cuz I probably didn't pay attention enough to notice. Hey rats, how you doing? It's like it's good to see you again. It's nice to play with you. We're, you're going to be our test subjects as you usually always are. So, I need at least emotion level two to get that. And I can only get that by clashing a little bit. So what are these then? Reinforce, mana cost two. On play, target ally, give target ally one strength and protection. Mm, okay. On target, on play, target ally, give one, one, one to two protection and stagger protection. Okay. Accelerate, give four speed. In what way? Does it apply to both dice or only one? Well, honestly, now's the perfect time to find out. It applies to both dice. Okay. That can be stupid with, like, certain characters that like to be very fast. On play, tar target, recover HP and whatnot. Mm. Man, I remember when the rats had, like, 30 HP. Man, they've been nerfed into the dirt, haven't they? Right, now I can do this. No, no, why not? Emotion level is two or lower. Can't use this pick. Oh, so I need emotion level three to use it. Okay. Die. Thank you. Now then, let's use this imaginary world, because I want to see what the Christ it does. Right, imaginary world six. I really like the fact we changed the, the background and everything for it. Cannot act or be targeted. At the end of the scene, if there are no allies, this is cancelled. At the start of the scene, all other allies below gain the following effect. Gain three haste, two random status effects from two strength, two enduring, two protections, two ta sta stagger protection. Recover ten HP and stagger resist. Ha! Huh. So you're telling me every scene these guys are going to recover HP and whatnot. Well, perfect. You're both attacking him with actual attacks. So let's find out. 33 stagger resist. No, they recover the 10 HP every round. That's kind of nuts. I mean, sure you lose a character for it, but... They gain three haste and a bunch of buffs, so... It also prevents her using her own personal imaginary world buffs as well, which I suppose is the other counter to it, but in the in the end as well, the mass attack is those buffs, but more and better. So... Alright, well let's just end this before this music tries to copyright me. There we go. I honestly like that. That honestly looks really cool. This magic system in general looks awesome. Alright, so let's finish things off by, you know, taking on the guy that ran away. Oi, you! How dare you run away! What are your abilities? 
unfold. At the start of each scene, exhaust all pages in hand and deck. Add new pages to hand. Okay, shimmering. You can just call it shimmering. It's okay. Mana system, infinite. At the start of the scene, gain 50 mana. Max ca mana capacity, 50. Annihilative dragon. Off offensive die, gain plus one power. Defensive die, lose minus one power. When using a combat page with an effect involving mana, all dice on the page gain plus two mana. Def every defeating enemies deal 20% more damage and stagger damage with attacks in each scene. Okay. Mana barrier. If having 11 or more ma mana... Remove all status ailments. If not staggered, take less damage from attacks equal to having mana. Rapid stream of mana slash reckless. On hit, spend 4 mana and deal 5 bonus damage and stagger damage. At the end of the scene, take stagger damage equal to having mana. Hmm. Falling. Use a falling page on Clash Lose. On Clash Lose, this character and some enemies are uninfluenced by effect of on power for next two scenes. The more falling ability activates, the more enemies are influenced. Shimmering Dragon. Get Mana Link's pay Mana Link Page's combat start effect that is used by self. Yeah, I can understand why this might have three flaws, but let's just go and see what we're up against. I don't need a world without Iris. Ah. I will break everything. That's all I can do. I mean, you can make stuff. Anticipating is the easiest method for defending. I like this music. There are no- there are no worth. World and myself who can't defend Iris. Annihilative Dragon. It's my spell that can only destroy. Okay, I suppose that's why you can only destroy them. I don't need everything. Breaking everything is unnecessary for me. Then why are you doing that? It doesn't matter whether I live or not. That's definitely a bad attitude. I don't need a world without Iris. Okay, we're back to the beginning then. So what abilities do you have? Fang of Purgatory. Okay. Falling. If falling dice lose a clash, this character and two enemies are uninfluenced by effect on power for next two scenes. In other words, just ignore that. Note it. Actually, no. Forget that. Don't ignore it, because you become uninfluenced by power. I need to fight that. What am I thinking? Okay, let's go. Bang. So I can't hurt you. Ow! Okay. Now you've got your power nullified. Who else does? You do and you do. Okay, let's see how this goes then. You don't have much in the way of... Mana anymore. Why are you rolling so high when I you don't have that many numbers? This ends up going now. Ow. Pretty sure I counted that.
Mass attack. Brilliant dragon. Individual hit. Do you have your precipice? Yes, you do. Perfect. And then you've got falling. Okay. We don't really have any, like, big numbers which we can use to counter this person. And these particular dice. Alright, let's see how much this ends up mattering. Thought as much. Shattered. You don't have any mana this turn. So now is the turn we can- Must, if we can, just flout out Annihilate, which I don't think we can. Right. Let's give you Chained Wrath, even though I doubt you're gonna live. You're mass attacking again, seriously? Mass attack individual. If hitting half or more enemies, cancel next full next scene's fall effect for this character. At the end of the scene, I lose two light. Well, more than half of us are staggered, so. Alright, ye sod, you're cannon foddered. Assuming you might... You know what? No. Screw that. You only need to take one da attack. Alright. Let's go. Sever the night sky! It's time for you to pecking die! You may reduce actual damage, but you do not reduce stagger damage. Right then. Next. I'm really getting a sense of this guy doesn't like Vixen right now, considering she had three attacks on her by herself. All right, the goal is to stagger them this round. Let's go. I said to stagger, not get staggered. them all staggered. 66 damage. Sever the night sky. Shatter the precipice. Good enough. I don't care if we don't get full books. Well done. Well done. We beat the Annihilative Dragon. I actually got worried then. <laughs> no, I suppose we have three floors, so I shouldn't get worried, but... Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. I mean, if you can read Korean, you're more than welcome to pause this. And, you know... Just... Read what's being said. I know, I, I know I'm skipping through it quite quickly, but... Right. What book do we get from that then? Let's see what this particular page is like, shall we? Leo's page. So what have you got? Are you like the one we fought at the beginning? Yes. Yes, you are. You're the one we fought in the first one, not the second. Brilliant Dragon. When using a combat page with... An effect involving mana, all die gain plus one power. If the character has 21 or more mana at the start of the scene, all dice gain plus one. Here's a question. Am I allowed to use multiple types of mana? No. No, I'm not. Damn. 
Okay, next question. What the heck is this random spell effect that I didn't actually pay attention to before? I love the cannon fodder rats. I really do. So what are these random things? Firm shell. Take two less damage and stagger damage from attacks. Cool. Aspiration. If using melee combat pages, all die, gain plus one power and deal one, plus one damage. If using ranged combat pages, all die, lose one power. And then what about you? Worth of life. If having 50% or more HP, deal 30% more damage and stagger damage with attack. If having 50%, lower 50%, take 30% more damage with... Alright. Interesting. Oh, it's start of act. Right. Well, let's finish this and see if there's any other particular axe or something we can take a look at. Or random spell effects. What's this? Electrification. When hit, inflict two, one to two paralysis to the target at 50% chance. Alright then. Compressor. The first die of each page gain... The first die of each page gain plus two power. The other die gain... Lose one power. Huh. These spell effects are very all over the place, aren't they? Well, I haven't found anything other than those five spell effects, so there may be more, and I just can't find them. But either way, those spell effects are honestly really cool. In fact, so is the magic in general. The magic sort of addresses, and because of the way the magic pages are set up, in the fact it affects all pages, it's effectively like, what is it? Let's have a look at them quickly. This one is... They cost three... Each light costs three. So this page here effectively has a mana re... Has five light regen each round. Then you've got this one, which effectively has six light regen every single round. You've got three light regen every round. You've got five light regen each round. And you've got four light regen each round. Which really makes it so the magic can be you While we can technically just ignore the mana pages, I mean... They're not... They don't have the highest numbers. What, but I suppose that's also incorrect to assume as well because of these resonance pages. Which apparently have really, really good synergy with each other. If you can get a full group of resonance working. But it kind of addresses the issue of not having light la later in in map, in fights, because you've run out of ability to restore emotion. So, it's just an interesting way of approaching everything, I feel. But, everyone... As much as I would love to test it out further, I'm all out of time for today's episode, so it looks like, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I've been your host, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English Gentleman of the Internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.